All right. So, continuing on the Matt Hatter Chronicle action figure reviews. Yeah, maybe, kind of. Uh, and battles we have here. Supervillain Count Venom and Supervillain Phoenix. Phoenix. So, basically, more simply put, the goth versus the ginger kid. So, we'll start with the goth here. He looks rather dapper, doesn't he? Get, oh, look at my haircut. It's beautiful. It's shaped like a bat. How clever. Right, so we'll get him opened up. He does actually come with an accessory. Whether it is removable from his hand is a different question. Let's ask him. Is it removable from your hand? I'll tell you if I get out. Yes, so I do like the fact that his hair is kind of patterned in the same similar shape as a bat. He's there. His legs don't move too much. And obviously his hand is kind of posed to kind of go like... The light, it burns my eyes. Please shut my bedroom window again, mother. And uh, this does appear to be... Oh, it is removable. So that's pretty cool. Has a bit of a decoration on there. But there's then... Stick it back in there so he's all getting like, I'm going to go and hang around the park and I'm going to pretend that I need this stick to walk even though I'm perfectly fine. Really do like the pauses on these guys. Is he, is he glow in the dark? I don't know. I don't know if he does. I'm pretty sure it would tell you on the packet if he was. And then his lenticular thing here is him. Kind of, he's looking a bit vampire-y, isn't he? A bit vampire-y. He's kind of got a hat. Got a hat on in that picture, so it's him who didn't get the hat with him. But moving on to the Ginger Kid. So here is the Phoenix. And I do like his trainers and the fact that he has a flame motif. And he does appear to have a few odd tattoos too. He has a rather large head. That is pretty cool. Do like the boots. The boots are pretty cool. The arms on these seem to all be very oddly posed. And he does have sort of quite odd tattoos going along his arms and up his face. So if you're a child watching this, I wouldn't advise you get tattoos like that. Not that I'm against sort of people being all creative and sort of all get, ah, oh, this is me, love me or hate me, but I like to tattoo my face. But uh, I wouldn't advise getting that kind of tattoo. He's, he's actually quite short and he's a little lad, an angry ginger lad. So here we have the, the goth kind of walking along here all uh, all about the boots. I forgot about the boots. He's all getting like, oh, look at this little ruffian in my way. I shall just try and chew him away with my stick. And he's all like, hey man, what are you doing? I'll kill you. He's like, my God, this boy has got a flame in his hand. Show us what you now, mister. It's me pubes. I've just cut them off. Push straight in the face. Angry Ginger Kid wins. Rawr! I really, 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 really like these Matt Hatter figures. They are pretty well stylized. Uh, not, I guess, the best for play, but I just think they look awesome stood out. Really, really nice. Modern toys. Definitely worth a look at, guys. Definitely. Oh, I haven't true to the land. Took a thing. Definitely worth a look at. Quality. They're not cheap. Cheap plastic. They're actually really quite nicely made. Plastic. And, uh, oh, see, look, he gets... He won't like me when I'm angry. Because I turn different colour. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. Thanks for watching, guys. Do stay tuned for more Matt Hatter Chronicle reviews and battles. I may be doing a three-way way in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Ta-da!